hello and welcome to another video so in this one we are going to see a gaming desktop from Lenovo uh, I have been looking at this PC for a while now just wanted to share with you guys what specs it comes with and what's the price range and then if you're thinking of building a computer what you can build for the same price so without wasting time let's jump into it so here is the best price website so taking a look over here we have different types of pcs so the one i picked from this whole stack is this guy 42.99 and there are some other uh, pcs as well if you want to pick it on like this legion over here you can pick as well entirely up to you but i just picked up something which is an which is really a high-end computer I just wanted to just take a look and show you guys that what we can make now let's take a look and see the specifications of this one so here is the side view of it if you just want to zoom it in take a look this is how it exactly is so as i can see from the picture there is a rgb fan for the exhaust there is this air cooler for the processor um this is just the visual so up from the side and there is a logo at the front I, mean, I don't know if this does light up or not but probably it does according to the picture but not sure um looking at the specifications of this this is a lenovo legion tower 7i uh, comes with i7 13 gen processor pretty powerful one terabyte storage 32 gb of ram we're gonna see which one is it and RDX 4080 comes with Windows 11 installed so looking at this 16 core processor 32 GB DDR5 RAM which is outstanding uh, 1 terabyte of M.2 obviously and 4080 16 GB graphics card looking at the detail specs uh, 4080 and then yeah 850 power supply this is really good so here we have it now let's take a look what we can build for the same price but before we go there let's just uh, check the visuals of it so looking at the case of it it has a three intake fans and one exhaust one for the processor to cool it down uh, which I think is a good combination. I am gonna have to agree there because three fans are gonna throw the airs into it. So two on the top are going to be enough to cool down the RAM and the processor, and then this will throw out the air from that here right here. So pretty good. Um, as far as the sides are concerned, this side, well, it's a good panel. I like the case as well. And looking at the back of it, I never took a look. Here we are. So it got two USB ports here, two here, like five USB ports in the back, another Type C, actually more. If I'm wrong, yeah, actually you have more one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. And then Ethernet, mm, there is a digital audio output too. Pretty good. And then, of course, they haven't. Uh, shown anything about the graphics card here but yes of course graphics card will have some and then this case is pretty good i mean if you want to mount the graphics card vertically you can and 850 watts of power supply that's pretty good now of course you're spending that much amount of money so now we're going to take a look what you can actually build for the same price but i know this is I mean, we will actually see the verdict soon so let's jump onto the website and Let's take a look over here and just stay with me for like few minutes. It will be ready in no time. And then we will see uh, the comparison. All right, let's start with the cooling. So it's gonna be liquid cooling for sure. Just gonna do 
120. And where is the following we can choose? Weird. we go liquid cooling there we are so let's pick what is on sale let's pick this guy dual fan is perfect add it to the card done moving on to the ram so DDR4 32 GB should be enough if you need the RGB one. Sure. DDR4. Nope, gonna go with five. Let's choose from over here actually. There we go. Filter makes things easy. <laughs> Corsair Vengeance. It's too much. And uh, let's take this one 32 maybe we will go up to 64 we will see depends on the budget I think we have a pretty high budget so that should not be a problem as far as the chip goes 30 we're gonna go i7 same chip as that one no compromise there moving on to the case now which case is on sale 169 4000 D hmm Okay, I'll see. Yeah, I'll go with this guy. 159. Add it to the card. Done. Moving on to the graphics card. 4080 is over there. So let's let's see. It's too much. Well, I'm gonna go with this guy. Perfect. Now let's go with the motherboard. Hmm, this should be fine, isn't it? Intel chip. As long as it supports Intel, we are good. Yep, 13. Perfectly fine. Add it. Done. Power supply, we're gonna go around. Hit 50 watts is enough. More than enough. 174 YC 150 uh, I will go with this one yes ah bronze gold 80 plus gold that's what the usual standard is to go around I think this is the best choice here to go with so let's pick this one up Done. Final thing is the storage. So we are gonna go with the two terabyte of this instead of one. I'm not sure why would they put one in there. We will also buy a heatsink for it, and then we are gonna go with two two terabyte of this, or maybe like four terabyte of hard drive. That should be more than enough. In case we have more money. Then we will get another M.2, I guess. Perfect. So this is it. And perfect motherboard has the heatsink. So we don't need to go there. Let's go to the checkout now. And let's review it if I've missed anything. Total bill is still around $3,500. Take a look. We have two fan liquid cooler. Uh, Corsair. Vengeance, uh, okay, i7, we got the case, we got this, 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 we got pretty much any, everything, I guess. So let's move up the storage, we're gonna get two M.2s, storage is enough, we can get two RAMs, still got some budget, and then 
graphics is good storage is like we can add two of these too still around four grand so hold on we got this this we got the processor ram liquid cooler case has three fan at the front oh we're gonna have to add another fan for the exhaust which is fine it won't cost much uh, 1774 is for the 4080 16 GB Asus tough edition um, this is here uh, Z790 Tomahawk Wi-Fi DR5 this is good power supply is there I think we got pretty much everything there isn't anything missing perfect that's your total guys uh, this is the total guys now 3919 I mean take it around 4,000 with the tax, but still $300 less. So yeah, it's a good computer, but I wouldn't buy this guy as it is a pre-built and it doesn't have that much of a storage. No liquid cooling is there, no 64 GB of RAM. So I would say this will come on sale. Maybe if they will drop it by like around $1,000. So around $2,500, it will make some sense to buy this. $2,500, $2,600. Maximum I will go is around $2,700 or eight. that's it because the thing about it is this GPU itself is around 1700 so if you put another thousand on top like 500 for this right and then you have still six seven hundred dollars after that so should not pay more than three hundred three thousand on this guy because for three thousand dollars you can build a really good PC as you can see over here uh, I know I have I can actually get a motherboard if I lower down the price for $200 so I will save 150 there uh, if I go with the 750 watts of power supply that should be even fine gold I'll save around maybe like 50 bucks more and then looking at the RAM if I go with the non RGB maybe I will get it around 150 uh, I just need 32 GB is enough right so those are the compromises we can make and then our total is gonna come around that price but I think still the custom build is a better choice to go with uh if the price comes around or oh, somewhere around less than three thousand like twenty six twenty eight hundred dollars sure this will be a good one to buy you don't have to go through the hassle the only thing you need to upgrade afterwards is just the memory and the ram i think may not be the ram because it's already 32 gigs there so just the storage you need to upload to upgrade sorry mm, that's pretty much it is and this was from Lenovo Legion Tower. Uh, good gaming computer, but the price does not justify the features and the specifications, as you can see over here. So we have built this computer for $3,900 almost. And then if you cut some corners around, maybe around 4000 max. So still 300 less than what you are getting over there. Extra cost is going to be the Windows you're going to purchase. So that is entirely up to you. But this computer is going to be a lot better than that in terms of thermals too because we have a liquid cooler here um there it's air cooled cpu um if you do video editing picture editing high intensive processor uh, processor intensive tasks then yes in that case you do need liquid cooling but this is it from my side i just wanted to put it out there and just show you guys that yes if you're thinking of buying a computer around that range probably considering uh, building one is a better idea if you have the interest in building it or if you can have somebody build it sure pay them like 100 150 dollars and they will build it, build it for you just need to buy the parts and that's it um this is it and that's all from my side uh thank you so much for watching the video let me know in the comment section how you and how you feel about it and what do you think is this going to be your choice or are you gonna go with the custom build entirely up to you but this is flooded with features you will never run out of storage you have eight not eight actually you have a 12 terabyte of storage in case you want to add more you can still add more right uh, 64 gb ram i7 13 gen processor so i think this is a fantastic computer it is a beast and looking at this guy yes it is a good computer but cost is too much so that's all from my side uh 
not gonna criticize it much but as i just told you the price is if it comes down to 3000 sure buy it um what other decent computer you can buy if you don't want to go with this well let's take a look over here before we just wrap wrap up the video um looking at this so i was talking about three thousand dollars right so let's see this guy it's same as the other one not sure if they have three fans on top i think this is a smaller case so all right that does not actually matter much 32 gb ram same i7 13 gen 4070 is the graphics card now yes if i reduce the graphics card over there it will come down to 3000 not 3000 actually maybe less let's oh sorry what did i do i did something i don't know okay let's take this out and then what did i cut out i don't know okay let's uh add ram not the ram sorry graphics card so 4070 they picked if i pick up the same card here take a look 809 dollars i mean let's see the total now and let me see what i kicked out i have the storage power supply case chip mm. ah motherboard sorry so let's go and check the motherboard intel perfect here we go there was one for 200 dollars remember this yes this is the one i was gonna I was thinking of buying the other day but i didn't uh as i do not need an upgrade but the greed never stops so here we are 2800 guys still still $2,800 looking at this they just downgraded pretty much everything but still our build if you just reduce the storage like this is an overkill still but you're getting like 12 terabyte of storage 64 GB RAM still ahead of this so yes this should come down to like 2200 or around 2000 go ahead and buy it but that's it just giving an estimate and um, Thank you so much for watching and let me know in the comment section how you uh, feel about it. What do you think? And thanks for watching as always. I'll see you in the next one.